Welcome, weary traveler. Nothing is as it seems in the medieval world of Black Death. Find sanctuary in this eerie town that does not exist on any of the maps you have seen before. The Black Death is a horrible plague that drives its victims insane and causes extreme paranoia. It has infected most of this town's residents and seeks to claim your sanity too. Do you think you have what it takes to brave the dark and unforgiving plains that surround the cursed town of Clayton? Are you brave enough to face the Black Plague as it scorns the land by day and all the terrors that lurk in the shadows in the dead of night? Steal yourself and be prepared to explore while unraveling the secrets within this grim world of darkness and despair. Clayton was not always so horrible. The Clayton of today is but a shadow of its former glory. Like a delicate flower, Clayton used to be a simple, beautiful town with happy people. Years ago, Clayton was a sight to behold, concealed by lush and beautiful gardens, a true paradise. Its people used to live off the land and did not mind being isolated from the rest of the world by the treacherous mountain passes that surrounded it. It was a utopian fantasy that existed within the realm of reality. The sun rose majestically in the east and brought hope and radiance on its golden rays. The crystal clear waters were more than just pristine and pure. They carried the spirit of sustenance and continuously nourished their souls. The people of Clayton awoke each day to the joyful sounds of nature and the rich laughter of their fellowship were the sounds that ushered people to sleep at night. The people of Clayton were simple people that enjoyed each other's company and were content with their simple way of life, abounding in the midst of peace and plenty. Clayton was such a paradise that it was the envy of both the Garden of Eden and the Lost Gardens of Heligan. But all of that was before the Black Death. When the plague arrived, the utopian nature of this paradise quickly vanished and left behind a traumatic tale of a descent into madness. It wasn't long before Clayton became nothing short of hell on earth, existing only as a tragic dirge, the bliss that once was all but forgotten. It wasn't also so much the stain of the Black Plague that caused the most distress, for the history of mankind has been laced with the stories of plagues and epidemics, and finally, survival. In this case, it was the sheer lethality of the plague, the pain and anguish it caused as the plague slowly destroyed the skin of the infected transforming humans into zombie-like creatures who sought desperately the escape of death, never to find even that level of salvation. And so, the fear of the Black Plague brought hysteria, taking root in their hearts, and justifiably so. At first, there was no way to distinguish the infected from the uninfected, so it spread rapidly and everyone grew increasingly wary of each other. Their paranoia was only worsened by the solitude they lived in, a solitude that they once treasured, but now became the trigger for their insanity. Once a close-knit family, their agony, fear, and trauma diminished their intimacy with rampant rumors and suspicion. Who was still sane? And who wasn't? Death became as common as the cold of loneliness, and yet as scarce as the sunlight, 
and in the midst of it all, no one could be trusted. Then, with pain-induced insanity, the people turned on each other and slowly, everything descended into anarchy and chaos. The insanity-inducing plague slowly ate away at their society, a tragedy that has now become part and parcel of the town before you. The streets are lonely now, as a dark cloud of gloom and misery hangs permanently above the city, walling it off from sunlight and hope. The streets are treacherous, and the scanty remains of its citizenry walk about with shoulders slumped and desperation in their eyes, waiting only to find salvation in death when it finally comes around. When they are not somber and depressed, they are malicious and vicious, expressing their pain through unbridled violence. Unable to remember what life was like before the plague, they dress in black and don makeshift face masks to ward off the plague that has already infected them. As you venture into this world of the unknown, you must continually ask yourself, will your decisions lead you down the right path? Can you escape Clayton before its plague corrupts and consumes you? Are you prepared for a horrific adventure into the grim unknown? Gather all you need so you can survive your nightmarish visit to the town of Clayton and hope you make it out in one piece. Thrilling experiences await you as you journey across the diverse terrain within the town and beyond, uncovering ruins and abandoned sanctuaries lost in the woods surrounding Clayton. Understand that the Black Plague has corrupted the heritage of Clayton as you continually battle against the forces of evil that might be lurking behind all the pain and misery that the people of Clayton have been forced to endure. Avoid catching the plague at all costs, because the moment you succumb to it, all hope is lost, and you too will be trapped in Clayton forever. Your arrival in Clayton is not an inconvenience, it is fate. Every day will be a fight for survival, for there is no cure for the plague, and though its woes are slow at first, the Black Death will eventually devour you whole. But take heart. You have not been afflicted by the Black Plague just yet. So be wary during your adventure and hold dearly to whatever you believe in that you would make it out alive.